there everybody, welcome back to the railway and today we will be looking at my take and play collection. So first up we have this, um, this is the Take Along Thomas, which was released in the early 2000s. Next, this is just the regular take and play from 2009. We then have the regular take and play in two different editions, this one and this one. And this is the regular 2013 one. This is the 2013 one with the Celebration Stripes from King of the Railway. This is the Brio Thomas, which has lights and can move, which is interesting. This is Edward. He is just the regular 2012 Edward. Henry, again, regular 2012. I have to say, with these 2012 ones, we've got these terrible wheels and terrible screws, so you can't take the thing apart. It's very annoying. If you look at the 2009 ones, you have actually got screws underneath and wheels with axles. Then we have the Gordon also from 2012, and James from 2009 by Take and Play. This one looks a little bit fake to me, because the running board, as usual, is red, and the model is red. But what looks even more fake is the Brio version. Because if you look here, most of the body is red as well, with hardly any detail, so it looks like it was just sprayed red. This is the Take Along Percy, now this, and the Take Along Thomas here, with buttons on them somewhere. They talk, or do something similar. Now, we took the batteries out years ago, because we just can't be bothered. And that is the oldest Percy I've got. Then we have the 2014 Percy, with the scrap pusher from the Reg's scrapyard set. And the Brio Percy, which is Probably the same. I don't like these front couplings they put on some of these Brio ones though because they just don't look very good. Then the take and play Toby. So moving on to the next row we have Emily which is the 2009 release of the character. And Spencer which is also another 2009 release. Something about Spencer is his tender. They, in my opinion they didn't really do very well getting that Gresley six-wheeled tender correct, or it's eight-wheeled, I can never remember. But in the show, or at least here, it has six wheels, axles and screws, which is correct. But the tender just doesn't look top-notch. Moving on, we have a relatively little-known character compared to some of the mains from season 12, hasn't returned since. We have Ferdinand. 2012 edition. I'm generally surprised they produced him in 2012 to be honest because he wasn't exactly a liked character when it came to 2010 but there you go. Next we have Neville. One thing that's quite sad is before the 2012, the 2012 downgrades they started detailing the cabs more in 2011 which is when this release was from. Next we have Stepney. The 2013 release. Now in 2013, even more downgrades, we lost our cabs. And again, still, we have those terrible little screw things and no axles. Here we have the Brio take on the Stepney from I don't know when. And it has this annoying little coupling front of things again. Next, the Taking Place Stanley. He was in a movie in 2008, the series the same year. And it's only really been used again in the Brenner era. Harvey. Much the same, really, but he appeared in season 7 in 2003. He's an okay character, I guess. His crane arm can do 360s. And. yeah. Billy. Nobody likes Billy. He was released by Learning Curve in the early 2000s, which doesn't make sense because he wasn't in the show until 2006. Anyway, moving on, we have Rosie, 
who is generally just a nothing character in a pink livery, not the new or red one. Charlie. Now, obviously, Brenner and his team didn't enjoy writing for Charlie because quite soon, in 18 or 19, they just dropped him as a character. Gator. Quite the opposite. They invented Gator, and I think he's a really good character. For Timothy, it does go for about the same. Moving on to row number three, we have Porter, who is, I think, a 2014 release, along with Marion, also from the same year. I'm not sure if Marion is steamy or a diesel, so she's right in between. Now moving on to the ones we know are diesels, we have Diesel, a 2009 release. This is fine, the red running board is normal, we're, but with Paxton, a 2012 release, they didn't do the red running board. They used the same body, but not the same colour of the running board. Keep it the same, please. Next, we have Salty. He is the 2009 release, which is fine. With Diesel 10 by Take and Play. This is the 2012 release. Loads of these are 2012, so, you know. Next we have Brio again, no idea from what year. And then we have Diesel 10's associates. Splodge, or Splatter and Dodge. Painted in their correct liveries by Brio. Now I go down to the line. We have Sir Handel, number three. Rusty, number five. Duncan, number six. Yeah, I'm battered Luke, but it'd be nice to use in a video one day. And a slightly newer Luke. The Sir Handel and Rusty were from 20 something, 2009. The Duncan, 2014, and the Luke's from 2012. Now we're on row number four. Our first character is Millie, a 2012 release. I'm not sure I get this because Millie wasn't introduced until 2013, but there you go. Next we have Annie and Clarabelle, which came with the Celebration Thomas. These have, obviously, stripes for celebrations. Next we have Truck. This isn't a troublesome truck, this yellow one, it's just a truck. It has no face on the other side. Done by Learning Curve in the 2000s. That's it, I know. And this is a 2013 release of Troublesome Truck. It's just called Troublesome Truck. So, you know, it's only one by the looks of it. Next we have Hector. He is a 2012 release, loads of them are. And Hector's whole load. Now we have all of the loads for trucks, two hay bales and three barrels. The Fat Controller, I have a 2009 version and a 2014 version. I have the 2009 version of the Thing Controller. Interestingly, on the 2009 one it says Sir Topham Hat's car, or Mr Percival's car, but here it says just Sir Topham Hat. Also the fonts change. Next, we have Bertie, the 2009 release. I guess in 2009 they thought of bouncing as well, like in the uh, Blubber, because he can do a fair bit of bouncing without his wheels leaving the carpet. And then Harold, our only um, helicopter. Or air vehicle, for that matter. Here we are then on the final row, and we start off with Captain, who, let me check, it. Um, it's a 2012 release, Captain. And then we have Skiff, who is, I think, a 2015 release, which makes sense, the movie was released that year, so it was actually Lost Treasure. Then we have the Moons, the four Moons. So here we have Dash, is it all from 2014? We have Salty, I don't like Salty, it's got parrots and knives all over him, that's not Salty. These are 10, and either Bill or Ben, it's Bill. Next, we move on to Kevin, our first of several cranes. He has a crane arm, it's a 2009 release, 
and wait, that makes sense because his movie was from 2009. I like how the steamwork was just introduced like it was already there and I knew about it. Now this crane has a hook that can swivel like this and the crane can. Next, move the camera a bit, we have a wedge. Reg, this can fully move and this can move downwards so you can do that, which is pretty cool. Right now he's falling over. He um he needs to be attached to his thingy on the scrapyard cleanup team set, otherwise it doesn't work. To zoom out quite a lot for this. Um this is cranky. You know who cranky is, Reg has fallen over again. If you look up at the top of cranky, you can see you have this and you can lower the hook. So he can pick up lots of things, for example, hay bales and barrels. And even lift up even more. We have a flappy bit of track here. Anyone guess who this is? Owen. So Owen is the biggest character in my entire collection and has a working incline. Try and get a video of that. So on Henry, you just grip this and pull it down. Sorry, Owen, not Henry. Henry is somewhere over there. And then behind him, there's this little switch thing. Hopefully you can see it. And you just have to go press it. So if I go press the switch. The incline has pulled up very clever stuff. That's it. All the take and play characters. Some are bigger, definitely, than others. It was a lot of fun doing this. I enjoyed it, I hope you did too, and see you soon.